California lawmakers are expected to come back to Sacramento later this month for a special legislative session on gas prices. This comes as the governor is pushing a proposal that would set new rules for the oil industry. But the governor's call for a special session is getting some pushback from Democratic leaders. KCRA 3's uh, Capitol correspondent Ashley Zavala joining us with the details on this and to explain what's going on here. Yeah, the California State Senate is refusing to gather for Governor Newsom's special legislative session on gas prices. Experts say this has never happened before. It marks obvious tension between the governor and Democratic state lawmakers, and this refusal raises new questions. Will lawmakers actually pass Governor Newsom's gas price related proposal on the timeline he's expecting? <laughs> Gas prices in California are lower than they have been over the last couple of summers, but still higher than the rest of the country. To prevent future price spikes, Governor Gavin Newsom wants lawmakers to come back to Sacramento for a special legislative session on the issue. For the last couple of months, he's been asking Democratic leaders to pass his proposal that would set new requirements for refiners to have backup oil reserves to avoid supply shortages. There is a difference of opinion if bringing um, the legislature in for the session or not, that's fine. Leader of the state Senate, Mike McGuire, said Saturday the Senate has been ready to support Newsom's push, but will not meet for his special session, which experts say is required under state law. So you don't think the state Senate would be breaking the law then by not convening in a special session? I think that's hogwash. The oil industry has been warning Newsom's proposal could cost more at the pump, not just for California drivers, but those in Nevada and Arizona, too. In a post on X on Monday, Republican State Senator Scott Wilk said the pro tem is protecting his members from casting stupid votes prior to the election. I'm offering an opportunity for you to close. Meanwhile, the state assembly gaveled down briefly on Saturday to establish the special session. I'm oh, excited to get back to work here and I think in a short time. Speaker Robert Revis said last week Newsom's proposal needed more time, which prompted Newsom to make the call. Revis said hearings on the governor's proposal will begin within the next couple of weeks. It's something that requires um, uh, some deliberation, engagement with stakeholders uh, to ensure that we get this right. Democratic State Senator Stephen Bradford noted both houses have now flexed their muscles to the governor. That's the dynamics of a co-equal branch of government through the uh, both houses and the governor. So, Are your colleagues fed up? I wouldn't say they're fed up, but I mean, at the same time, they're being, you know, assertive about where their positions are. Now, because there's an election in November and the legislative two year term ends that same month, the special session will need to wrap up by November 30th. But without the state Senate, Newsom's proposal cannot pass by then, obviously. I imagine he's pretty hot under the collar. What can the governor do here? Can he sue the state Senate? Right. So experts at this point note there is no way to enforce the governor's order for a special session. Again, what the state Senate is doing here is unprecedented. We've asked the governor's office if it's considering taking the Senate to court. In response, his spokesman told us they'll keep us posted and to stay tuned. Even if Newsom did sue, though, experts say the litigation would likely take months. Lawmakers pick up their regular work back up in January, and so they could pick up this conversation at that point. But again, wow. hmm. some moving parts here. It's the weekend. Everyone was really cranky on Saturday night. Uh, yeah. We'll see if anyone's cooled off by this week. Yeah, wow. some late hours over the weekend, right. and yeah, we'll see what happens. Exactly. All right, exactly. Ashley, mm -hmm. thank you so much.